Coaches, let's face it, the struggle is real. You've got a lot of things to do each day and not a lot of time to do it in. How do you keep track of everything? How do you know which staff members in your building you're working with? In today's episode of Tech Coach Weekly, we're gonna walk you through the steps of creating a data tracker form using Google Forms. So stick around for this week's episode of Tech Coach Weekly. So here we are in Google Forms. You can of course get to Google Forms by going into your Google Drive or by simply typing in forms.new. And I'm gonna rename my untitled form to Daily Teacher Interactions. Now this is a form that a coach would be filling out. So this is gonna help us keep track of who we're working with, how long, what are the things that we're doing. So that way we can start to gain data on what is really happening in our classrooms and how we can help out our teachers. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna type in types of interactions because I want to make sure I know what kinds of things am I doing. So type of interaction. And now what I want to do is paste in all the different types of interactions that I do with my teachers on a daily basis. So you can see here we have instructional coaching, conversations, professional development trainings, tech support, email support, help a student. Now the reason why we have these in a specific order is because it's like a hierarchy. Many times we go into classes and we get asked, can you fix this? Can you help this? Can you do this for me? As coaches, of course, we wanna get to those higher level things. So we wanna make sure that for the most part, we're working on those coaching instructions, having meaningful conversations. The next thing that I wanna do is I wanna track the different types of opportunities. So I'm gonna add a question. And I'm going to call this one here, coaching opportunity. And let's go ahead and I'll put my answers in here. Now for this one, we've got our one-to-one -one meetings, our classroom visits, our coachings, or our teachings. And as you can see, we've broken those down between co-teaching with the teacher or modeling and doing the lesson in front of the teacher. Let's do one more. The I'm going to leave this one blank, but I use this one to differentiate where I do my coaching. So this one would be buildings. And here I'll say building one, building two. And of course you can break this down as you need to. If you're in a high school, maybe you do a question for a department, other ways to do. Because at the end of this, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this all into one big spreadsheet. Okay, so the next question I want to ask has to do with time. How long am I spending with these teachers? So my question is going to be average time working with staff. And so you can see here that I've got this broken down between less than five minutes, maybe someone just finds you in the hallway, to 30 to 45 minutes, an average class period. And of course, you can change this however you need to for your particular classes. And greater than 45 minutes, hey, maybe you're working with a teacher for an entire day or half day. You never know. So we want to just keep track of where you are and, and what kinds of things you're doing with your teachers. Now, the next question is going to be why? What are What is the reason why you're going to be working with those teachers? So let's create a new question type here. And I'm going to type in reason for staff interactions. And this is really where we want to figure out what are the types of subjects are they asking? Are they asking technical things? Are they asking for app-specific things? Or are they asking uh, curricular things? So I'm going to type in here, all of my options. And you can see here, I've got my curriculum, my Microsoft, my Google, whatever your school district is in, that's what you'd want to put in here. So you can see a breakdown of what are the different topics that you're being asked as a coach that is invaluable data moving forward in your district. Now, the next question I think is one of the most important ones here. And so to do that, I'm going to create a new question. And this one here is going to be called what versus how to, meaning is a teacher asking you, what do I do with something? Or is the teacher asking you how to do something? So the difference would be, how do I use Google Docs in the classroom versus um, what is Google Docs? And there's a difference there and different levels there. So I'm going to just type in these two answers. And so I've got my next questions here of my what is and my how to's.
Now, the next question on our survey here is really about how did you support your teachers? And so I'm going to add my next question. It's going to be called, how did you help or provide support? And you can see I've got a bunch of different answers here from email support. We do a lot of emails. Teams support. Uh, my district happens to use a lot of Microsoft Teams. So you can say email versus Teams to get to know how people are starting to interact with each other. One-to-one -one conversations, classroom visits, or referral from another department. I want to know if people are saying, hey, Jeff's a great guy. Why don't you go use him? How do we start to put these things together? And now the last question on our form is, I think, absolutely the most important one. Is there a need for follow-up on this event? And, of course, that's going to be a yes or no. And so that way I know if I need to follow up on this. Sometimes I do all my emails in the morning. Sometimes I do all my emails at night and schedule them for the morning. I want to know if somebody just said, hey, I need something real quick or if I need to take action on it because I want to make sure that all my teachers are taken care of. So that's how easy it is to create a daily teacher interaction form. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We would love to hear that you guys are out there, and we would love to get some suggestions on future videos for Tech Coach Weekly. So that wraps up today. On behalf of everybody here on TeacherCast, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you guys to keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students.